Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Friday, August the 16th, 2024. It is 76 days till Halloween and day 16 of August, 2024. Uh, Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Um, I do enjoy our visits here. I, even though I am at lunch and a short lunch, it seems like this is the shortest hour of the day. It is only about 93 degrees here in Birmingham today. We were expecting 100 plus, so 93 is a nice surprise, even though you probably hear my air in the background blowing away. Um, wanted to jump on today real quick and show you where I what I did with the granny squares I showed you yesterday and just talk about a couple of things and um, then I'll have to go back to work boo, for a couple more hours and go home go to bed get up and do it again tomorrow dog is always happy to see me though so it's all good and yesterday when I got in from work I had a nice surprise my nephew had mowed my yard for me thank you Connor and um, I just I cried well it was after dark when I got in from work so I didn't see it to begin with but then as I was walking dog um, even though it was after dark I had my headlamp I think I've showed y'all before or told you before I walk dog because I'm worried about snakes out there in the woods so I, I was smelling fresh grass cut and I thought I had seen along the driveway where he had cut and usually he just cuts down there because that's all he has time for cuts down there where mom and Mark live um, so I was thinking that's what he had done, but then as we were walking up through my dog will either go down and around mama's and Mark's or she will go up my driveway and back up into my yards. So, um, she went back up into the, our yards yesterday. And so I finally realized that I was smelling my own fresh grass cut. Oh, it was amazing because a couple weeks ago, I was mowing my yard and my grass, no uh, no kidding, was about waist high on me. So I stretched my, <clears throat> I had stretched out my belt on my riding mower and I was just to the point then that I was ready to just let, wait till frost. <laughs> so it died. So, it was, uh, so my yard was only about half done, but that was okay with me. As long as dog and I had a path to walk, then, then we were good. But thank you, Connor. It was such a great surprise and uh, very much appreciated, very much appreciated. I just need to get a belt on mine so I can keep it mowed now. Um, I rigged up something on the deck to keep it from dragging. Where there's a redneck, there's a way, right? So yeah, I fi had fixed, fixed my deck and it was all good. But then the belt, like I said, the grass was just so tall that it stretched my belt out. So. I couldn't really do anything else. And then it was to the point where it wouldn't stay on at all. <clears throat> so anyway, that was my happy for yesterday. Um, and then I reworked on some of the granny squares last night. In my yesterday video, I had showed you where the granny squares were all kind of wavy. So I took the few apart. I think I had only done about three. So I put took the few apart that I had done and, and redid them. And I just went, I didn't turn at the end of the rows or at the joining. So I just kept going round and round and it, it ended up, it was better. I haven't woven in the ends cause I was more about getting them done than getting ends woven in. And then I, at some point I will um, sit and do a bunch of ends at one time probably during a video boring y'all to death but so there's these and they are laying a lot better of course that one on top is not going to since I told you that but you can tell you can tell overall that they are laying flatter so yeah I don't know what it is about the turning and it's um, because to me when you turn and then slip stitch back to the chain two oh excuse me I got an itchy in my nose um, to me, when you slip stitch and uh, when you turn and slip stitch back to the chain two, it's creating some kind of extra something. So I have finished all of the mango. There should be eight of them. Two, four, six, eight. 
And then I think what I'm gonna do is I've got my bag here. I've also got one ivory done. Um, eight mangoes is all there will be in this pattern, but there's like 70 something of the ivories. So I'm gonna do a few of those at a time as I go. Again, that pattern is by uh, Maria's Blue Crayon, and I linked the pattern below yesterday, and I will do it again today. And then I've got all my colors <coughs> in my bag that I think me and Mama got it. Where did we get these last year? I think they're usually like three for five dollars at Cracker Barrel, and it's been a long time since we ate at Cracker Barrel. But it says there's always something to be thankful for, so that's my since this is a fall project. Look, got the red dog. Looks like Beth all in the old truck. I like the blue one, but I think our favorites are, uh, well, this was green. I think our favorites are the red ones. So that's why I am doing that other project in red because we love those. So yeah, I've got all my colors in here along with a pair of scissors and, or one skein of each color. Uh, I only used this much mango for eight squares. So I think this will be one of the colors that I put in my granny uh, bag that I am doing in a collab with Seta, Rebecca, and Ella. So I think this will be one of my colors because it's really pretty and it's, it's a little more muted on the screen, but it is prettier than that in person. If y'all all know, it is the um, I Love This Yard in Mango, 100% acrylic. Everybody knows the stats for all these things, or the specs. Uh, but we always like to hear them anyway, don't we? Oh, seven ounces, 199 grams, 355 yards, or 325 meters. And I love this, it's so squishy and soft. So the, uh, that's the mango, that's all I used out of one skein for um, the eight squares. And then, like I said, I think there's like 70 something squares of the ivory that I'll have to do. So I'm gonna do a few here and a few there since there are so many, that's the most of one that there is. Also, I did increase it by an extra row. Each of her squares is only, th uh, squares have only three, row uh, three rounds and I'm increasing it to four because I wanted a larger blanket. Um, so yeah, I think I also found my inspiration for the Granny Square bag that we'll be making in the collab. A customer came in today and she had on this beautiful necklace and a matching purse and some matching earrings. And it had all my colors in it that I wanted to use. So um, I'm gonna, I took a picture of her and there's no telling how many customers, well, not customers, but um, you know, there's been a couple of people that would offer me to have a picture of things if I really loved it so much so I can remember it. But I did take a picture, I asked her permission, of course, and I took a picture of her beautiful necklace and um, purse, because she had her purse over this side. And now her purse is a little more brighter colors, uh, so I'm gonna go somewhere in between and do that, and I think it will be beautiful. And then once I get all my yarn picked out, once I match all the yarns to her necklace, I will show you the colors I'm working on or I will get started on it and then show you. But anyway, I think that's probably all I'm gonna get to do today because I do have to get back to work. And I do have two bags of yarn right there that I need to show you. I do believe one of them is the Hirschner's Halloween yarn and I'm not sure what the other one is. So, but that should be all of what I've ordered for now. Well, for, for a while, that's all I need because I don't need any of that anyway, right? Except the Halloween, I definitely wanted it. But anyway, now I'm mumbling. So I will get back to work, get this day done so I can go home and love on my dog. I think I need to go down and get my brother's medicine together tonight. And um, that'll be it and go to bed, get up and come back again tomorrow. I have several days because next Friday I have another little adventure with Renee and Paul. And that will be great and wonderful, but I have to work every day between now and then, and that's that's a long stretch for me. Um, but I can do it, you know. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? And that is visiting with my daughter. It's always the brightest light of all. So, and it just makes me so happy I'm about to cry again. I'm the cryingest person I even know <laughs> over nothing. It's not nothing. It's huge to me. So, it's the little things that are the hugest to me. 
So anyway, I hope y'all are having a good day. Happy Friday. Happy everything for today, Friday. Have a good weekend, and I will see you again tomorrow. Oh, one last thing. I'm sorry. I did watch The Conjuring 2 last night, and then tonight's Halloween movie will be The Nun, uh, which is, you've got The Conjuring, Conjuring 2, and, the, and Nun, and then something else. I believe it's The Conjuring Devil Made Me Do It or something like that. But I will watch all four of those because I like watching them all in a row, like sequels like that, to see where it all happened. And that'll be my thing for tonight. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.